हरे कृष्णा वी आर लाइक बर्ड्स हु मस्ट डेवलप आवर स्पिरिचुअल विंग्स बिफोर द ब्रांच अंडर अस ब्रेक्स बर्ड्स ऑफन रेस्ट ऑन ब्रांचेस ऑन ट्रीज बट दे आर नॉट लिव इन कॉन्स्टेंट फियर वॉट इफ द ब्रांच अंडर मी ब्रेक्स आई एल क्रैश टू माई डेथ बिकॉज दे नो दे हैव विंग्स and while the branch is their present shelter there is the strength of the wings that is their bigger shelter so for all of us we are in a similar situation we have various material shelters our wealth our social positions our families our health our body itself all of these are shelters and they presently are very important for us but at the same time all of them can break at any moment they are like breakable branches and they will break at some moment and when they break the we will crash down unless we have developed our spiritual wings that means each one of us needs to strive to grow spiritually so that every one of us can move towards the divine toward or move towards spiritual life beyond our bodily life so how do we develop our wings our wings are basically our spiritual inclination our spiritual attraction our devotional absorption in krishna the supreme spiritual reality so all of us when we start exploring is there something more to life beyond matter and material things that's when our wings start start budding start emerging and then as we start exploring more and more then the wings start emerging and as we start practicing spiritual life doing sadhana then the wings start flapping and flapping more strongly and as amid difficult situations we take shelter of krishna diligently that is when our wings start growing so much that they can lift our weight and they look and lift us from the branch where we are in and as if some difficulty comes in our life if at that time we take shelter of krishna then we don't get we don't crumble but we rise from that branch and fly enough till we get to another branch so during the course of our life like this we fly short distances when one material shelter breaks and we find another material shelter during the intermediate time we take shelter of krishna and eventually we become strong enough at the time of death when the branch under us breaks and we fly not just to the next branch but high into the sky to the supreme destination to krishna so so if we can remember krishna at the time of death villa with law we attain him antakale cha mameva smaran muktva kalevaram ya prayati samadbhavam yati nasti atra samshaya that if we can remember krishna at the time of death that means krishna has become our foremost love by the time of death then we will attain him and for doing this we need to we can as the bird has to develop its wings regularly life long similarly we too need to develop our wings regularly that is it's 8 7 says therefore we need to remember krishna constantly throughout our lives tasmat sarveshu kaleshu mahamanusmara yudhya cha mai arpita mano buddhir mame vaishyasya samshaya therefore at all times we remember him and even while doing our external work yudhya cha that means we are seated on the branch uh, we are having a material shelter we are doing our material responsibilities but we are also grow, readying ourselves spiritually by remembering krishna by immersing ourselves in krishna and thus we can grow to ultimately attain him by, rem- by becoming sufficiently attached to him throughout our lives we will remember him at that time of death and thus attain him thank you hari krishna